Howdy everybody, I'm Sam Feifel. I am the editor of SparPointGroup.com. I'm here at Spar Europe in The Hague with Ananda Fowler. How are you doing? Pretty good, how are you doing? Uh, so first of all, it's pretty obvious you're with Regal here, but yeah. what do you do for Regal? So I'm a project manager for software development. Okay, and uh, you guys have a lot of software to talk about. You've got this Resolve product that I've heard about. Yeah. Uh, what does it do that's so special? Primarily automatic registration, but the primary focus of Resolve is to make the complex, mundane processes automatic. Okay. Mundane. What's, what's a mundane, uh, mundane thing? What's something so, I don't want to do anymore? Everybody hates registration. So if you take 500 scans or 200 scans or even 5 scans, it's really, really, really horrible to sit in the office and try to go through the process of registration, putting all the scans together, putting out the targets. Mm -hmm. And Resolve takes care of all of that, so it makes it simple. Sure. I mean, you know, uh, whenever you're people hear about things that are automatic or you know take away the bad problems they're they're skeptical you know I can still get the same accuracy you know how do you sort of assuage those fears for the customers when they ask that question okay the perfect part is that as we do every scan we acquire a certain amount of georeferencing information so all of this is tracked from the outset then when the algorithm adjusts any scan it keeps track of all of these changes so not only will you get a really precise registration from scan to scan, but also it's possible to hit control points throughout the process so you have a validation uh, procedure at the end. Sure. So check. So, you know, is it good for every application, you know, plants all the way to forensics? Is there any, you know, sort of specific customer who has a problem that sort of solves most obviously? What's the kind of sweet spot for the guy that's going to be like, yeah, this is what I want right now? Um, so the first release is for outdoor. So the first release does outdoor registration, which, as far as I know, no other company does so far. Okay. Indoors, there's a few solutions that have come out, so we'll probably focus that on, on that later, but at the outset, it's for outdoors. So what's the difference between registering point clouds indoors versus outdoors? Isn't it just a point clouds point uh, cloud? No, indoors is a little easier, to be frank with you. So indoors... Well, how come you didn't do the indoors first, then? <laughs> because it's... Our primary market is outdoors, so Regal makes long-range scanners, sure. so that's our market. So we cover our market first and then, okay, maybe we go somewhere else. Gotcha. So what makes outdoors harder? Um, outdoors, there's not as many geometric shapes, so a building always has nice, pretty surfaces, planes. Mm -hmm. Outdoors, you have a lot of vegetation and random surfaces. Gotcha. Trying to associate two scans based on random surfaces is pretty tough. Right. And so, I mean, you guys make scanners that go kilometers out. Is this something that works at that level, or is it still uh, in a short relative the, range? The ultimate design was for short range, but in long range scanning, we've also come out with a new airborne system. Okay. So speaking about problems, so that's the terrestrial side, but on the airborne side, we now have the Q780, which goes above 10,000 feet for scanning. And this solves a lot of problems on the airborne side. So you have a lot of guys that if you're trying to do an airborne project, Say you want to get mm, 500,000 acres or hectares, mm -hmm. well, you have to take 500 lines to get all of this, this covered. But with the Q780, you can go even higher and get more at the same time. Gotcha. Now, I, I, I remember there was a marketing guy over here that wanted me to ask you about your user conference. Of course, people are going to come to SPAR to learn about all this sort of thing. Why do you guys feel it's important to have a user conference as well? It's absolutely necessary to connect with customers so that they can see what we're doing, we can see what they're doing, and allow everyone to collaborate and improve everything. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Thanks. All right, well, you can either go to the user conference or you can come here to SPAR. Either way, Regal's got some cool stuff. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Tim. Appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time on sparpointgroup.com. Hey!